Hello everybody, my name is Benji and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. Obviously our solar sails have been busy in between episodes. Uh, however, we are still lacking in the power department. Uh, so that is one of the things that I would like to fix today if possible. I mean, we are just kind of still shooting out solar sails and we're close to 100% satisfaction, but like not quite. 100% satisfaction. The dark fog is only taking a little over one and a half megawatts, which isn't bad at the end of the day. Uh, they are increasing in threat rapidly. So that's the main thing that I want to focus on today, is getting us to a point where we can be safe from the dark fog. Uh, and another thing that I would like to fix today as well is hydrogen issues. This is something that happens Every single time that I play this game, uh, I start to run out of uh, light oil because hydrogen is causing me all sorts of problems. And that is absolutely not bueno. So that's like the main thing that I want to do today is solve the planetary defense uh, problem and make sure that planets are defended. Uh, but then the secondary problem that I want to solve today is enough light oil to survive comfortably. Uh, and then, of course, power <laughs> is a bit of an issue, so I'm just going to go around and try to fill in some gaps here on the ray receivers. Um, I've also got some solar sail and ray receiving efficiency research queued up, which should hopefully help us out as well in that department. Uh, of course, it will not be perfect, and I actually have research paused right now just because of the fact that we don't have enough power to really sustain it as much as I would like to have it sustained. Uh, so I just turned off the, the research, and eventually we're going to back up on all of the research things uh, and be perfectly fine, hopefully. Very much hopefully. And then, of course, all of our power related to the coal production is just bad. <laughs> it's just bad because our coal is very much so running out. So I could upgrade that, but I don't really think there's a purpose to it as we transition into more ray receiving kind of dealies. Um, so let's go on ahead and let's just start working with the defense. So we've got these things called signal towers. They send out signals at a frequency to induce the dark fog, change the direction of attack, and increase unit assembling speed. They can form a data chain with missile turrets for information sharing, expanding the range attack of missile turrets. So what I want to do is I want to have the missile turrets in such a way that I can have a planetary logistics station requesting missiles which we are making missile sets over here and supplying them uh, i would like to take those missile sets have them be requested into a blueprint with a bunch of missile turrets on a specific frequency then i can just take the little guys here and just plop them all over the place that way we have full uh, planetary coverage from the missile turrets. So, like, if I put this here, right, and I put this, and it's on network one, that's all power grid information. Um. Okay. I have no idea if this is actually doing anything now. <laughs> I, I wish I knew, but theoretically that is taking these guys and helping them. Uh, so let's see here. If I place this back down, right? Maybe I have to chain it specifically. Can I chain it like this? Okay, so it's got power connections. I can see the power connections here and here, but I don't see the missile turret. Yeah, that's supernova settings. Space is a high priority. 
Upper air is relay station only, apparently. Low air is balanced. Ground is balanced. This is closed. Oh, wow. I like that. That's nice. Low. And then, since I changed that for group one, no, it does not automatically sync up. Turn that off. Just because I'm not super worried about it, I guess. I can't tell if this is working or not, but they are charging me, which is nice. So I think the best way to have this, I really don't know, because I really don't know if it works unless we're getting attacked, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how that works. I guess the best way to do it would be to go to the other planet and see what's going on over there. So let me grab some missiles and head over to the other planet and I will see you there. All right, so we're here on the second planet and what I'm gonna do, just for testing purposes, is I'm going to put down a whole row of five of these. We're going to connect them together. And then we're going to connect them to a little storage chest that I put all of these in. And I'm also going to get rid of all the crap that I have in my inventory because I made a couple of upgrades. I get rid of as much as the crap in my inventory as I can, at least. There. Of course, for some reason, this doesn't have power. It's just barely outside of the range. And then let's set all of these guys to group one on this planet. Have space as a high priority, balanced, balanced low then I can take that copy and paste the settings to all of them and now let's see what happens with our signal towers put a signal tower here which way is the fog base over this way so if I just take signal towers just kind of put them as we progress First of all, how many degrees do they span? Decent amount, four blocks, in the, like low latitudes. Grab this, hit use now, just so that I can progress a little bit faster. Yeah, that'll be good for now. Also, it looks like this base has grown substantially since the last time that I was here. Let's see. Oh, 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 there it goes. It's working. I didn't think that was going to be in range. Apparently it was. I thought I had low air priority, or, or I thought high air on, I thought I had high air on low priority. Okay, so that is working. Oh, the hive is not liking this. <laughs> The hive is at 23% threat already just off of this? Holy cow! I'm barely even messing with anything.
I, I genuinely, is it gonna kill it? Or is it regening too fast? I think it's regening too fast. Because the missiles are starting to get distracted with the little swarm guys, right? Yeah, the missiles are starting to get distracted by the little swarm guys. So let's head back and let's attach some more missiles to the group here. Probably just attaching three more will be fine. I can't tell if they broke anything or if they just stopped firing because they hit the thing that was in the space range. I wish I knew, genuinely. But I don't. Uh, and then why not? Let's just add four more along the back rank here. And we'll just make this come around and over like that. Yeah, it took out the relay. And the hive did not like that I took out the relay. I don't know why it didn't like that I took out the relay that badly uh, when before it was not nearly as angry when I would do things like that. That's news to me. So let's go see if I can tickle the base a little bit more, shall we? I think that's probably not a bad idea. Who knows, maybe it's a terrible idea and I'm about to absolutely piss off the fog hive enough to go attack the main planet, which is currently undefended in such regard. Yeah, let's see what happens if I but another one. Anything? Nothing? Nothing, because it's not in range. Well, what if I put it in range? Oh, there it goes. Oh, boy. Hello. <laughs> Oh no. Oh wow. Oh, they did not like that. Oh, they hated that. They did not like that at all. Wow. You know, maybe it's not such a bad thing to claim this planner for my own. I don't think I need to just yet, but it might not be a bad idea to claim it for myself. Because it will try to resend a relay station eventually uh, and reconnect this to the hive that way. I know that for a fact. At the very least, it might not be bad to level this base up a little bit more. Because I know that the fog units drop certain things. Like, they, they drop resources and stuff, and I know that they drop different resources as they become higher and higher level. So I think if we just tickle this base a little bit more... Wow, look at how fast it's producing units, too. Holy cow. That is crazy. Crazy. Look at the rate that it's producing units. How much mass does it have? Oh, it's because it's turbocharging. Oh, those two just went dark. Is it because it ran out of resources? I can't... Oh, insufficient power. Oh, that's right, because it gets power from the hive. Okay. Well, now that the missiles have stopped firing, I can start taking out the rest here. Because it's it's drained. It's out of power. Very interesting. Oh, that's so much easier than the last time that I did this. Yeah, we'll we'll just go on ahead and we'll we'll take this out completely. Why not? 
You know what, I'll even speed this along a little bit by adding in another signal tower, and then watch, the missiles are gonna come flying. Yeah, look at them. Oh, that's so cool to watch happen. Oh, that is so cool to watch happen. Okay, so yeah, they do just attack things that are in the signal range. Yeah, building's not fully destroyed. Foundations required, slow power required. Uh, reach the core of the planet, you can see boiling lava. Well, can be buried with enormous quantities of sand. Cosmo wouldn't mind if we just use the lava's heat. So yes, we can, in fact, use these as geothermal generator. Um, however, I think now we will let the hive just kind of come back here. Yeah, planetary base level three. They'll come back, and they'll 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 be fine. They'll come back, and they'll be fine. Uh, and then what I think I would like to do, which I think I will do this off camera, uh, is I would like to move these to a more advantageous position, somewhere a little more central, probably here, in all honesty. Somewhere a little bit more central to the base, and then just place signal towers all over the place and make sure that we're fully covered with the missile turrets. So yeah, give me one moment. I'm going to go set this up, uh, and then we will go back to the home planet and set it up there as well. See you in a moment. All right, so we've got 14 missile turrets here with the same settings, just balanced ground, balanced low air. Upper air is relay stations only, which is low, uh, and then high in terms of space priority because I know for a fact that they are going to... Uh, attack at some point in the very near future. Um, and I also know for a fact that the Dark Fog will eventually send us a new relay for this planet. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to catch that happening on camera, let alone be able to catch that happening myself. Um, but I do know that eventually it will happen, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, continue farming the planetary base in that way. Um, I didn't necessarily mean to just completely and entirely wipe out everything. Uh, it just kind of is a, a byproduct of getting a little lost in the sauce, so to speak. But you can see they're really doing some things on planet number one here. Uh, they have six uh, hive bases here, which is kind of crazy. Um, but that's okay overall. Yeah, see, they, they keep sending out things from the hive. I just don't know where they're going. It looks like they're all going to planet number one. But that's okay. We're, we're fine with that overall. We're, we're perfectly fine with that. We are at way more than 100% satisfaction. We're only requesting 400 megawatts and we're producing over 600, which means I can put down more of our lovely little station guys and get more power, which is super duper nice. Uh, but more importantly, I would really enjoy uh, setting up these all over the home planet here because we've got our missile turrets right and our, our main missile turrets are are here however i am also going to guess probably i could do it for here over here is a lot of unused space at the moment yeah right here uh i want to save that for no i wanted to save this for fractionators up here we can do it so if i take one of these and plonk it down like here then i can have missile turrets not right on it but close or i could just do it like this instead i think i'd actually probably rather do it like this instead uh and essentially what i can do is i can just make eccentric rings of missile turrets just kind of one after the other uh, I'm gonna want to move it back a little bit more than that. 
I'll figure out some way to do that, but that, that's essentially what I'm going to want to do. Uh, and then place down the signal towers all over the place, because the signal towers are also going to be really nice to have. So give me one moment. I'm going to fix all of this up and make sure that it is good enough for my purposes. Uh, and then I'll bring it back in and end the episode there. We'll do fractionators next time. See you in a moment. Okay, so I'm super proud of this. This looks great. The battlefield analysis bases look absolutely phenomenal mixed in with everything. In addition to the fact that we've got just absolute circles of missile turrets. There are, let's see, four times five, there are 20 missile turrets, as well as Gauss turrets, as well as battlefield analysis bases. So as long as I have missiles and ammunition ready to go on a planet, I will now be able to just activate this thing, paste it down, and then I have fully automated just offensive capabilities. The ammunition for the Gauss turrets goes the entirety of the way around. I can very easily transfer it into titanium ammunition instead. The missiles go into all of the missile turrets, albeit a little bit slowly, but that's fine because they don't really expend them super fast. Uh, and the only thing that I'm rather concerned about is the fact that I'm going to need more missile turret or more missile production because i obvious obviously do not have enough as it stands currently yeah i obviously do not have enough as it stands currently i guess i could have also put cannons in here and used shells as well uh not something i'm super concerned about i guess i could probably have replaced these guys with cannons i don't really know what they're footprint is it doesn't really tell me what their footprint is uh but i could absolutely put cannons there and just have cannon shells as well uh not something i'm super worried about though and now the only thing that i really have to go around and do is make sure that all of my critical infrastructure is covered with signal towers i don't really have to worry about this because they have their own set of missile turrets here that overlap with one another um and their own battlefield analysis bases but things like my primary uh, power production hub here, I'm probably gonna want some signal towers around, or at least one of my primary production hubs here. I'm gonna want one of those. Yeah, look, there's the hive. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, there's the hive. Hang on a second, what are your settings? What are your settings? You have high priority for space. Oh my gosh. Uh, I might be able to end this episode on something amazing. Because I know for a fact that I can do ground to space combat if it gets close enough. If the hive gets close enough to me. Oh, I think we just missed the window, didn't we? Because it's like within 20,000 meters or something that these guys can, can have. It says it's searching for enemies. I've got the signal towers right next to it. What side of the planet is the hive on? Ah, uh, it's all the way down at the South Pole. Uh, so let me go down to the South Pole. Maybe if I can see the hive. Am I going to the North Pole right now? I can't tell what pole this is. It has to be the North Pole because I don't see the hive. <laughs> and I should be able to see the hive. Oh, come on. This would be awesome to end the episode on. Please. Can I see the hive? Where's the hive? I don't see it. Where is it? It is down there. <laughs> what am I doing? Yes, there's the hive. There's the hive. There it is, it's way up in the sky. Let's see, if we put this down here, maybe here instead. Please? Nothing? Ah, uh, it's 0.56. I don't know what an AU is in this game because it's not actual canonical uh, 
astrological units. It, it's not actual real life AU. So I, I don't know exactly what it is. Um, but I know that the range of the missile turrets for space combat is only like 20,000 or something. Uh, maybe it was better that we didn't have that either because I don't have any planetary shielding. My power is low. Yeah, it's moving away from us now, so we definitely missed our, our opportunity here, which is a little bit unfortunate in my opinion. Yeah, 0.6. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm going to go through and cover all of our critical infrastructure with our signal towers. That way we have full coverage from our new missile turret blueprint uh, across the entirety of the planet. And then next time we're going to get into fractionators so that I can have less of a surplus of hydrogen, more of a surplus of deuterium, and more production capabilities of light oil, which I think will actually be quite nice in the long run. Uh, just kind of speaking from experience here. So yeah, that is going to be it for today. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, dos vadania, vidizien, ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This video is in the bag, and I will see you guys in the next one. Maybe soon we'll get into space combat. One can only hope, right? One can only hope. Later, y'all.